next we are going to see about unusual plants so we have the insectivorous plant and it is also known as your venus flytrap so inter insectivorous plants some plants like your picture plant your sundew so your picture plant sundew and venus flytrap they are both producers and carnivores so plants like your picture plant sundew and venus stripe flytrap are both producers and carnivores their leaves are modified in such a way that they trap insects therefore they are known as insectivorous plants so their leaves are modified in such a way so that they are able to trap plants and hence they are known as insectivorous plants in a picture plant the leaf is shaped like a picture with a small lid so this is a called a picture so this is a picture so the leaves of the picture plant is shaped like a picture with a small lid the picture is brightly colored to attract insects so the color of the picture plant is picture plant is brightly colored so that it can attract the insects fast when an insect enters the picture the lid closes so it has a small lid and when an insect enters the lid immediately closes when an insect enters the picture the lid closes this traps the insect inside digestive juices inside the picture helps digest the insect so the juices that are available inside the picture help digest the insect so there are plants like your picture plant sundew and venus flytrap they are both producers as well as carnivores and their leaves are modified to trap the insects so they are known as insectivorous plants now if you take a picture plant the leaves of the picture plant is shaped like a picture with a lid so the bright color of the picture plant attracts the insects so when the insect sits inside the picture plant the lid automatically closes and the insect gets trapped inside and the digestive juices that are present in the picture plant helps to digest the insect next is the leaves of a sundew plant are covered with sticky tentacles so when coming to the sundew plant the leaves of the sundew plant are covered with a with sticky tentacles in which insects get trapped the insect is further digested by the plant so when the insect sits on the um, leaves of the sundew plant it gets stuck because it has sticky tentacles so the insect gets uh, stuck and it is automatically digested by the plant so this is about your insectivorous plants which are also producers and carnivores the next unusual plant is your non green plants they are not green because of the absence of chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green colored pigment that provides the color some plants do not make their own food so plants like mushroom and toadstool do not have chlorophyll and so cannot make their own food by photosynthesis they absorb food from dead remains of plants and animals such plants are called saprophytes so your non green plants these plants do not make their own food and examples are your mushroom your toadstool they do not have chlorophyll and hence they cannot make their own food by photosynthesis they absorb food from the dead and decaying plant and animals so they are known as saprophytes next is your epiphytes some plants like mosses ferns and many orchids grow on other plants so there are certain plants that grow on other plants that is your mosses your ferns and many orchids they grow on other plants this allows them to reach positions where they can have better access to sunlight so by growing on other plants they are able to have a better access of the sunlight these plants are known as epiphytes so 
Epiphytes are plants like mosses, ferns and orchids that grow on other plants and by growing on other plants they are able to have better access of the sunlight and hence they are known as epiphytes. As their roots are not in the soil they absorb moisture. So these epiphytes they grow on other plants so their roots are not in the soil and so they absorb moisture and nutrients from the air, rain and water. So these plants, the epiphytes, they, their roots are not in the soil. So they absorb the air, water and nutrients. They absorb moisture and nutrients from air, rain and water or from the debris collecting around it or from the dust particles or the debris that is collecting around it.